We're also working on a plan to scale up our fixed clinic site once there is a consistent and stable supply of vaccine for our community. Uh, stay tuned for more on this front in the coming weeks. You can see we're down now to just outbreaks at the Jarvinsky Hospital, uh, which is wonderful because every week we've been reporting across all our, our sites pretty much. Uh, just this morning, St. the uh, Satellite Healthcare, uh, the last or the second unit came out of outbreak, which is great. Uh, so this translates into, again, similar to Ontario on average, somewhere in the range of 50 to 60 per 100,000 per week. And again, that's where we've been end of October, beginning of November. That is super good news that we are have some line of sight to stable supply of vaccine and that work is starting to resume. We don't want anyone to forget the very first line of defense against COVID is your basics in terms of wearing the appropriate PPE, making sure everyone consistently is practicing good hand hygiene and practicing physical distancing. The larger group will begin monthly meetings in March, and once the group has settled on uh, directions, smaller core teams focused on the specific categories you see there will meet more frequently, and um, the group will also create frequent touch points directly with the CEO and the board to engage in this important work. We're going to continue to, to connect to and monitor the developments in, in that area, in that space, and uh, look to really uh, collaborate and enhance the efforts of our community partners, uh, thereby supporting uh, their work and the community's work on EDI and our own.